I'm doing my second video on the disaster of Kitezi and I want to ask Ugandans to be very vigilant about life. Life is not something that we play with. When we lose people at that level, that's a state of emergency. Actually, Kampala should be on the world emergency alert radar. The loss of such people, we don't know the numbers as of now. They could be in their thousands. We are not yet sure how many people have lost their lives. Because we think a life can be washed away. Let's talk about Chitezi and the genesis of Chitezi. Chitezi is a project that was funded by the World Bank in two phases. In 1996, 29 acres of land were bought by KCC. That was before Savannah, that was before Sebagala, that was before Lukwago. And the 29 acres were supposed to be uh, accessed and used as a landfill for waste disposal by KCC. Chitezi is in Wachiso district, not in Kampala district. Chitezi is in Nangabo sub-county. Chitezi is in Chadondo north. And that means it's an interjurisdictional project. Whereas the mandate and the ownership lies with KCC, but it is located in another district. So what do we say? Chitezi, after in 2007, another six acres was added to Chitezi. That brought the total number of acres of Chitezi to 35. What is the latest survey report of Chitezi? Are those acres, the 35 acres, visibly used by KCC. And by the way, the lifespan of Chitezi was supposed to be up to 2010. 2010. 14 years later, people are dead. Who should be held accountable? The management of KCCA, the Ministry of Kampala, the executive director, and that is the technical arm of KCCA, the leadership of all those arms, the Lord Mayor Elias Rukwago, Chisaka, the ministers of Kampala, you should all be behind bars. Without even anything, because you could have prevented the deaths of those people. There is no amount of... Uh, action that can bring back people. But those deaths would have been avoided if there was due diligence, if you took your responsibilities seriously. We want to see when was the last time that a report was made about Chitezi? And when was it presented? Can, can, we, can, can KCCA share that publicly? Can we have the last council debate or conversation about Chitezi and the report? Can we please have it? Or else, like I said, we need an action lawsuit against KCC for compensation for people's lives and property. It doesn't matter but for once, as Ugandans, let's hold people accountable. There should be a state of emergency. I don't know. KCC should be an emergency station right now. What housing facilities, what houses have you paid for so that people are temporarily housed in those houses? They're available in Perere everywhere. We should take people's lives seriously. 
We love being in offices. We love the, the, the clout that comes with those offices. But to whom much is given, much is demanded. Ugandans, please, instead of saying chitalo, chitalo, rest in peace, rest in peace. What is rest in peace? Who rests in peace? Who dies in peace? You mean as they were dying, they were dying in peace? There's no peace about it. 